Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to prepare yourself to communicate effectively with people, how to handle relationships with each other at workplace or at home and have a happier life. That's the topic for today. Stay till the end to watch this very important topic because this is a struggle for every single person that I've interacted with. So what is the problem we are facing today? We are all having to work in teams, whether at work and at home. You're working with family, you have a relationship with your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriends, parents. And I'm sure all of you will agree that we all don't get along with each other all the time. We have a lot of mental stress because of relationships that we carry with each other. And this takes it to workplaces as well. Today, statistics say that 80% of people struggle to move up their career because of not getting along with their co-workers and we also know the reason why divorce rates are going up in the world not only in India because of not getting along with your partner the reason is one of the simplest factors each one of us are every day on an autopilot mode you don't even think before you speak before you act you are pre-programmed with your life experiences with your environment with the upbringing with the school that you went the kind of friends that you are with all this is shaping your thinking and desiring how you're going to be. So today, I want to share with all of you five mindsets, five kind of thought processes that you can work on, which will be helping you to develop yourself, to have a friendlier relationship with people, to have a conversation without stressing out, to hold people to attention. And this is part one of this series. I will also do a part two of the series with the strategies that can help you to handle tough situations. Today we will talk about the mindset, the kind of mindset that you need to develop that will help you lead a happier life, right? Please watch till the end since I will be sharing the amazing tips of happier living all through your life. Let's get started. So what are these five things and how can you use them effectively as a mindset to develop yourself further? Let's see. The first tip is, or the first mindset is for you to think about for any situation, it is what it is. It is what it is, is the first mindset I want each one of you to develop. It means when you are faced with a situation that is not in your control, just accept the fact that it is what it is. You can't change the situation. The moment you start accepting that it is what it is, your mind opens up with all possibilities. All the ideas that can help you to solve the problem will come if you accept the situation as it is what it is. If you don't, you get stressed, you get annoyed, you get angry and you get a panic attack. Try this mindset change when you face. Let's say for example, the government has imposed a new policy which is affecting your business. Now, if you start worrying about it, you can't do anything. But if you accept it and say, it is what it is, I'm gonna make an impact with whatever I can. Then you start thinking of all solutions. What can you do to make a change? So that's why I want you to start with the first mindset. It is what it is. Let's move to the second mindset that we need to develop. In my opinion, is the mindset that you need to train yourself. Now, every one of us, because of our life experiences, because of our upbringing, we feel that whatever we think is the absolute truth of the world, right? Would you agree with me? You think that whatever I'm thinking is correct. It's the gospel truth. But the fact is, it is only an opinion. It is your opinion. So think about it as if you start saying, in my opinion, then immediately your mind will realize that this is only one part of what you're trying to say. It is not the absolute truth. It is an opinion. It is an idea. It is a aspect. Now, when you say it with, in my opinion, to them, someone else, you're not being defensive. You're not telling them they are wrong. You're just sharing your part of truth that you think is correct for you. And then the other person is embracing of your ideas. And you are also opening up yourself to embrace to other ideas. When you say, in my opinion, you reduce the issues of arguments and fights with your relationships around you. 
Try this aspect and you will see a big difference in how it changes, right? Now let's move to the third mindset to help you have a happier life. Avoiding the blame game. We all have this habit of immediately holding someone else responsible for anything that happens in our life. Do you agree? I always said that only we and we are accountable for anything that happens in life. Not our family, not our parents, not our friends, not our teachers, not our relatives, no one, not even the government, no one. We are responsible for everything that happens in our life. Now, the moment you start blaming someone else, you're giving them the responsibility to keep you happy. That means you're telling someone else that if you don't do this, I will be happy. Now, can you live a life like that? You cannot. So once you stop the blame game and just think about your responsibility to it, what is the meaning of responsibility? The ability to respond. That is the meaning of the word. So you have been given an ability to respond. Use it in that way to respond to the situation instead of blaming someone else. For example, you're late to a meeting. You would say, oh, it's because of traffic. What if you say it was my inability to calculate the exact traffic time that I came late? It is your ability of the traffic, not the traffic's problem. So start thinking about not blaming anyone else, but taking full accountability. This is a mindset change that you need to have to lead a happier life. Let's move to the fourth point. The fourth point of leading a happier life is we are just being who we are. Do you know that no one wakes up in the morning and says that they're going to be a difficult person? No one decides to be a bad person. No one decides to be tough, difficult, anything like that when they wake up in the morning. They are just on autopilot mode. They are just behaving the way they have been programmed by the environment, by their experiences, like I mentioned before. So we cannot blame them. I had a recent example where one of a very smart person who came from a very high pedigree was having trouble from that person's manager who did not come from a very sophisticated kind of pedigree. Now, I was telling this person that your manager doesn't decide to be difficult with you. He has not had the kind of exposure that you have had, the kind of top college that you went, the rich parents that you have, the rich upbringing that you have. So this person is just behaving the way with what he has seen. He has seen leaders around him behave like this. So he is choosing to behave like this. So if you look at this person in that way, suddenly you start feeling not angry at them, but you feel supporting them. You feel like helping them. You feel like having a heart to heart conversation with them. So start having this mindset that people are just behaving the way they are meant to be. They don't decide to be like that. They don't choose to be like that. It's just the way they are. Now let's go into the last and the final piece of this mindset change that we want. It's called repeat back. Today, communication and clear communication is the biggest challenge that anyone has. I gave recently an example, you know, I met a person in my organization. This was many years ago, in fact. I posted about this on LinkedIn as well. I had a meeting with this person, gave him a lot of feedback, what this person can do better and what this person is doing well. Can you believe that this person remembered only the positive things that I said, but did not remember any of the development areas that I mentioned? Till I asked this person to summarize it and send it back to me, only then I realized that he doesn't remember the areas of development. So I want all of you to think about asking people to repeat back whatever you said. Whatever you have communicated, ask them to repeat back and tell it back to you. Then you will know whether whatever you've said, is it registered in their head in the right way or not? And then you can fix it. So these are the five mindsets that we need to adapt. This will start helping you lead a much happier life. Thank you for listening to me. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notify button. Till I see you next time, stay fit, stay positive. Keep chasing obscene success. Thank you.